Hey folks, welcome to another video. Um, today we're talking about being hip to be square. So we're talking about shooting from the hip. And we're talking about black and white and we're talking about the square format. Um, this video was inspired by a YouTube video that I saw based on a, um, a New York photographer called Ruben Radding. I saw this uh, this video about him on YouTube and I kind of had like a connection with him you know it, it, I really liked his style of photography and he mentioned that he had used the GR3 in the past he now shoots with a Leica but in the past he used a GR3 and the reason he liked the GR3 was the fact that he could use it in a much freer way than a big camera so not just not not always by using the viewfinder but by just using it to shoot like this or like this or like this so without having those uh, constraints and I thought about this and, and you know it, it kind of made sense so this morning I went out and I went down to the market and I thought I'm going to shoot completely free without looking at all at the display on the back okay so um, obviously this takes a little bit of um, um, preparation because you want to get your camera settings um, correct so that you you don't have time to kind of focus you don't have time to it's basically just um, aim the camera towards whatever you're interested in and just press and hold the shutter so obviously we want a fairly fast shutter speed I was shooting at 320th of a second f5.6 because I didn't really care about everything being in focus and then I used uh, range focusing or manual focus which was basically from like one meter up to about um, six meters, which I figured that would be plenty for my needs. So I I, I made a preset, or a, I saved the preset so I could put it onto U3, and that would um, automatically bring the settings back, so I didn't have to think about it. And so anyway, so I went out and I walked around, um, and I think it turned out okay. I'm gonna put the photos up now, and discuss them with you. Okay, so. Um, let's get ready to watch the slideshow of, of these photos and also at the end I'll put a link to uh, Ruben Radding because I think you'd enjoy uh, to see this video it's a good video okay guys let's get started okay feel free to pause the video and uh, make a note of these settings I'm just gonna go through them quickly so the first one focus I put it on manual I didn't want the um, focus to miss so I said it one roughly one to six meters this is based upon an aperture of f5.6 the ISO I set to auto and with a max ISO of 25600 might sound a little bit high but I have some good noise reduction software Topaz Labs and also the uh, DxO uh, Deep Prime so I'm not too worried about high ISOs okay minimum ISO 100 Minimum shutter speed I set here at 320th. This this helps to keep that uh, shutter speed constant, okay? Um, then the image control I set to high black and white. And obviously the drive mode to continuous because we can't be sure. If you're shooting from the hip and not looking through the uh, screen, you, you need to have like three or four or five or six shots of the, of the subject and then choose the best one later. Okay, let's move on to the images. This is a technique that definitely takes some mastering. And I think the more you do it, the better you would become at it. But one thing I did notice is that it, it kind of frees you up. Um, the moment that you see an image and then raise the camera to frame and shoot it changes the dynamic. This, this, this period of time changes the dynamic. So it's nice just to go along and when you when you see something you just press the button. The camera's already um already kind of set to go. You you don't have to have that that pause. So when you see the moment, you just click it. And of course, because you're not holding the camera up in front of your face, people don't don't look at you and go, Oh look, he's taking my photo. And now this is not meant to be sneaky. This is meant to be, um, um, how, what's the word for it? This is meant to be just dynamic. It's just a dynamic thing. Um, don't think of it as I'm, I've got my camera down by my hip. Just 
so if people don't notice me think a bit more about the angles and the fact that you can swivel the camera around and you can be much more responsive to the environment you can capture the moment easier and faster now looking at some of these images you'll notice that the horizons are not level and the verticals are not perfect but you have a choice you can correct it later in post or you can just leave it sometimes a bit of an angle gives more more of a dynamic like this one it gives more of a dynamic to the image okay i mean she was just sat on the wall i mean I, yeah you walk past and click you don't have to stand still when you shoot with this you can be walking because the shutter speed of 320th plus the built-in stabilization helps to um helps to correct any movement that you might have and you know it, it doesn't have to be perfect in my opinion i'm trying to capture the emotion i'm not trying to make stunning portraits i'm trying to capture the moment This is one of the best ones, I think. Um, yeah, she just appeared <laughs> from like behind this other guy and she came out and yeah, that was one of my favorite favorite photos from the day, I think. So guys, here's a link to Ruben Radding. I'll also put a link in the, in the description below. Please go and check him out. I think you'd like what he has to say. And thank you for watching as always. If you're not a subscriber, Please subscribe because I'm, I need that 1,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, please leave a comment below. What are your thoughts about shooting from the hip? Have you tried it? Do you have any tips that we can, um, we can learn from you? Okay, guys, let's see you in the next one. Bye-bye.